I'm a low-level hoodlum. It's customary to encounter someone like me at this point. Now shut up and hand over that fury! How droll. I have nothing to give to someone as boring and uninspired as you. Tch, then I guess I gotta use force to claim my prize. I may as well snag you while I'm at it, too. <laughs> I can't wait to see that cute face of yours after it's soaked with tears. <laughs> I want to see that, too. Huh? Who the hell are you guys? Huh? You are still pursuing me? Just as I assumed, you are definitely a stalker. She's still calling you that. Huh? Isn't that theory different from the one we originally found? Ah, uh, you're right. I wonder why. What the heck? Are they with you? Yes, that's correct. If you want my fury, then defeat him first. Mr. Stalker, if you want to impress me, now's the time to show off your skills. I think she's treating us even worse than the first time we met her. Here I come. I'm really not cool with any of this, but I guess I gotta jump right in. This is friggin' annoying. <laughs> Pain don't hurt. Let's do this. Stay down. I knew I was strong. A new power. <laughs> All bark and no bite. Huh? You are rather strong. It seems I misjudged you. Do you really not know who I am? Have you lost your memory or something? You are clearly mistaken in harboring terrible delusions. But in this instance, I suppose I can overlook that. At any rate, I have an idea. You want to make us your servants, right? Oh my, you are quite perceptive. Traveling alone would leave me vulnerable to brigands, not unlike the one you just dispatched. Allying with a stalker like you would serve both our interests, wouldn't you agree? I'm not a stalker, you stupid broad! How many times do I have to tell you my name is Fang? Keep saying stupid crap like that and I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. How dare you speak to me so... violently? Oh my... this is rather... new? Here comes to your eyes pseudo-masochistic tendencies. Jeez, some touching reunion this turned out to be. Anyway, let's find a place to stay. There's a lot of stuff I need to ask you. What do you need to ask me? I have nothing to talk to you about. But we do need to find a place to rest. A relative of mine operates an inn nearby. You are both invited to stay there with me. So you really don't remember anything? How many times must I repeat myself? I've never met you before. I didn't even know your name until you told it to me. That was also the first time I traveled to the Soul Plains. I guess you're really not faking it, huh? Why would I do something like that? Are you mistaking me for someone else? Hell no! Your fairy's name is Kiwi, you act all proper when you're actually super dirty, and you're stupidly serious. You're a fencer who dreams of world peace, and that's why you want to wake the goddess. Does that about wrap it up? I'm suddenly very uncomfortable right now. Please, don't come any closer! <laughs> ah, jeez. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of pervert. Then you definitely must be a star. That's not it at all! I want to know why you're still here, Tiara. Because before, I saw you... Fang, I need to talk to you about something. Privately. Yeah, sure thing. Take a look at this. Huh? It's a newspaper, so what? Look at the date. Yeah, it's outdated. What about it? Jeez, uh, do I really need to spell this out for you? This is today's newspaper, you idiot! We were sent back in time! Huh? It's the only explanation that makes sense. We had everything we needed to perform the ritual and revive the goddess. But after you saw Tiara's dead body, what did you end up wishing for? 
How should I know? I was just upset. Isn't it obvious, dummy? You wish to bring Tiara back to life! You are such a pain in the ass sometimes. Anyway, because your wish was so strong, the goddess's power inside me responded. And so, we were brought back to the past when Tiara was still alive. Is time travel even possible? Yeah, I'm positive. I definitely felt my power activate, and now here we are. I see. So, that's why Tiara doesn't remember us. This must be a total shock to you, Fang. Are you alright? Yeah. If we're in the past right now, we might be able to change the future. Don't you think so? Huh? Well, I'm not entirely sure about that. We're gonna change the future and keep Tiara from dying. It's worth a shot. Yeah. You're right. We can change fate. <laughs> that reminds me of what you said when we first met. You decide your fate even if you have to will it into existence. That hasn't changed. I will save Tiara. Through sheer willpower, if that's what it takes. We shouldn't tell Tiara that we saw her die, though. It'll probably frighten her. Yeah, I figured. So you and Eren were basically my traveling companions in your timeline. But Eren's power activated for some strange reason, which sent you two back to the past. You had already experienced meeting me in the Soul Plains, so you had no choice but to experience it again. Do I have your story straight so far? Yeah, I'm glad you're keeping up with us. Of course, your story is nonsense. There is no way I can believe it. Well, obviously, if someone suddenly told me what we just told you, I wouldn't believe it either. But we know who you are. That has to back up our story, right? That is true. It would be easy to learn my name, but far more difficult to learn the purpose behind my journey. Then, do you believe us? No, you are far too suspicious. And when a suspicious person tells me a suspicious story, I must regard them with suspicion. Look into my clear, pure eyes. Are these the eyes of a suspicious person? Your eyes are surprisingly bloodshot, so yes. Oh, shut up! I'm just really stressed right now because of you. Hmm. I suspect you are trying to trick me. Hmm. What if we told you something about the future and it came true? Would you believe us then? It depends on what you told me. And even then, I would be cautious before making any rash decisions. All right. Hey, Fang. After we met Tiara for the first time, we went to Kravise Cave, right? Oh, yeah. Listen up, Tiara. We're gonna head to Crevice Cave. Why, you ask? Because there's a Fury hanging out there. I also know about the trap that's waiting there, so you better believe us once I prove we're telling the truth. Whether I believe you or not, I do need the Furies. So I shall accompany you to the Crevice Cave. All right. Whoa. Wait a minute. Hmm? I just realized something groundbreaking. But what Why does your face look so serious? Couldn't I use my knowledge of the future to score some extra cash? I could become a for-profit prophet and rake in the dough! At first, we'll make accurate predictions, but once we've built up our reputation, we can just make stuff up and no one will know! I thought you had something serious to say! Jeez, you nearly gave me a heart attack! Stop saying stupid things and let's go! They are definitely suspicious. Okay, let's head out for Crevice Cave as soon as we're ready. Yes, sir! Huh? Hey, look over there! Isn't that the girl who has no idea how to talk to people and all she can say is kill, kill, kill? Ethel! Ethel? You mean that girl in the weird getup? Huh? She definitely wasn't wearing that before. Hey, why don't we try talking to her? What? You know she's just going to attack us for no reason again! Just chill out. I think we made a bad first impression. If you can find some common ground with your enemy, you're sure to open their heart to you. Heck, maybe we can convince her to join us. Hey, Ethel! Huh? Kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. What the heck, Fang? Is this what you meant by finding common ground? Kill, 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 kill! 
Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. What's with this moron? Is this some kind of bad joke? Is what Ethel said. She totally just destroyed your common ground! Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill? Kill, kill. Ethel says, don't take another step, Creepo. Um, I must also ask you not to get any closer to her. I'm afraid you may be a bad influence on her. Let's go, Ethel. Try not to look at him. Kill, kill, kill! Kill, kill! How long are you gonna keep doing this? He really is creepy. I'm starting to wonder if I should be around him myself.